What's going on guys, Coach Vic here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna give you a few tips on loading the scap and slotting the back elbow. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so just a few tips on this real quick is what I think about and what I work with my hitters about the scap load. In my opinion, I don't think it's something we need to overthink. Um, uh, it, and definitely it can get to a point where if a hitter is focusing on it too much, uh, that it can create actually a little bit of tightness and actually kind of slow the swing down, okay? And that's from my experience with the players that I've worked with. Um, personally, when I was growing up and when I was playing, I never heard the term scap load. It was just something that was not commonly talked about. Now that doesn't mean that that was uh, necessarily a good thing or that it doesn't need to be talked about. It's just the point of the matter is, is that it was something that many hitters could get to that spot without thinking about it. And I think that that's an important thing to understand. It is impossible to think about every single move when we are actually trying to hit a baseball. Hitting a baseball requires 100% of our attention and focus. And so here is just a couple tips of ways that we can naturally get to this position, naturally get to a good scap, naturally get a good elbow slot without having to overthink the process. So number one is don't pull. So I don't really like the idea of pulling back. I think that if we think of the move as a concentric move back, that we are actually tightening up our muscles, our back, our shoulder, and our scap are getting tight and tense. And from this point on, I think that that causes too much tension that can actually slow the swing down. So one of the ways that I like to describe it, concentric move versus an eccentric move. We're not pulling in to tighten. We are pushing and then lowering. And that gets us into a nice scap load without any extra tension. You can do this uh, experiment with yourself. Just you don't even need a bar or anything in front of you. And just pretend that you're pulling something really hard to your chest, like you're pulling the weight and you feel the tightness in the back. Now think about like you're pushing a push up, doing a push up or pushing a bar away from you and then lowering the bar. There's a big, big difference in the feel of it. And I think that that feel to me makes more sense in being allowing us to stay nice and loose and relaxed throughout our swing and, and up to the time we pull the trigger. So another part of that is that we don't want the, the hand to go so far back that it's getting behind the chest. That would also get you too tight and too tense on the back, which I think is gonna make you end up being slow to the ball. So another tip that you can do as an experiment or with your hitter is take the, put your top hand in the right correct spot, push it out in front of you, okay? Now pretend that you're like doing a bench press, don't pull it, lower the weight, okay? Get into position, and now take that from this position, tip the bat up. So I'm in a perfect scap load, is where we're not pulling so much that we're behind the chest, we're tightening the back too much. We are right at the chest line, boom, and there's my scap load. What happens is, the, we also want the position of the shoulders, we're gonna be a little more closed off to the pitcher. So what's gonna appear from the pitcher is that you're almost like you're hiding your hands, but you're not hiding them because you're pulling them so far back or you're simply rotating so far back. That'll take your eyes off of the pitcher as well. You're gonna be here. See, like if you're the pitcher, you're not gonna really see my hands all too well. Maybe, probably not at all, but I'm not over wrapping. I still have my hands at my chest line. So when the shoulders are a little more tilted, sh front shoulders kind of down, lower than the back, hand is, top hand if you use for reference, the top hand is no farther back than my chest line, keeping this nice and loose and ready to fire. Okay, now about that elbow. So once we are in our, our, our scap load, the gentle eccentric pull back. Now from here, we want to think about wherever this elbow is going to sit is going to be what is most comfortable. If you think about it, 
in when you're doing a bench press, typically you're not, unless you're doing a specific variation, you're not going to pull your elbows in. Okay, unless you're doing a close grip, different story. But if you're doing a typical bench, we want to have our elbows are going to be more in a, say, 90 degree angles. Okay, and this is what we want to have here. So it's not going to be an elbow forced way, way up, but it should also not be an elbow down. Okay, the elbow down, some players start that way, like in their stance. And that's on a person to person basis, different scenario. What is important is where we are actually getting the movements we make when we fire to the ball. Okay, we got our scap load. Our elbow should be just a general rule of thumb. It should be parallel to the ground. It's just a good way of thinking about it is that this forearm is parallel to the ground. Close enough, not a perfect thing, but close enough. So from here, we want to stay connected as our back shoulder and our hip start to move toward the baseball so that we're turning here. I'm maintaining that slight pull as I'm turning through. And what's happening is you can see my hand is starting to turn over without having to do anything with my hands. My hand is turning over, which is getting me to a palm up position and allowing me to then eventually release the barrel through the zone with a palm up swing. Okay, so gentle scap, gentle, no farther back than the chest line. Our shoulders are slightly closed off to the pitcher. Elbow is kind of in an up, but neutral position, not forced too high, okay, not too low. About parallel to the ground, if you think that forearm puts the elbow, like for me, this is a very comfortable position. From here, we wanna stay connected as we turn. We're gonna turn, back hip, shoulder toward the ball. That relationship between this, this slight tension in the scap and the relationship of my forearm to my shoulder are gonna stay together as I turn. That naturally turns the hand over, working the barrel now through the zone with a palm up swing. Okay, guys, I hope you found those tips helpful. If you, let me know in the comments down below if you have any suggestions for future videos. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, uh, all that good stuff, and check the links in the description. I got some cool free stuff for you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.